St. Petersburg is especially known for its canals. That's why it's often called the Venice of the North. But also, St. Petersburg is a sea capital. It was founded by Peter the Great as a seaport which could trade with Europe. So, since the time of Peter the Great, it was a large commercial port and also the industrial center of all the Russian Empire. And shipbuilding has always been one of the main industries. During the reign of Peter the Great, more than 200 ships were built in the city. Nowadays, the number of the ships built in the city approaches to 2,700 vessels. And the most famous ship and the oldest existing is Aurora Cruiser. It can be defined as one of the main symbols of our city. It was constructed in the early 20th century during the reign of Nicholas II. And this year it celebrates its 119th birthday. During its history, Aurora Cruiser participated in three wars. The first was Russian-Japanese war, in which nearly all the Russian fleet was destroyed, but this ship survived. Later, it participated in First World War, and in Second World War, the cannons from the cruiser were used to protect the besieged city from the Nazi army. There was one more important event in which the ship participated. The single blank shot it gave started the October Revolution of 1917, which changed all the history of the mankind. During our tour, you'll find many interesting facts not only about Russian ships and shipbuilding industry, but also about Russian revolutions, because St. Petersburg is the birthplace to all of them. During the tour, you'll also see other places connected with the history of the Russian fleet. We'll explore Icebreaker Crossing, one of the first icebreakers which explored the Arctic Pole and opens the way to the Northern Sea Route. You'll definitely be inspired by the romance of the polar exploration. The ship was constructed in 1916 in Newcastle and it remained the largest icebreaker for the next 50 years. During the tour, we'll have a unique opportunity to look at all the cabins of the ship, so you'll see how the crew lived.